Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Tower of God Chapter 380, finally Season 2, uh, Episode 300. So, uh, yeah, 300 episodes in, not really expecting anything too special because of that. I mean, I think Episode 200 was just extremely normal. I don't remember quite what it was, but I think it was just a normal chapter. Um, but, uh, yeah, I am expecting it to be very good, though, because we have stuff now going on with Mazano and the... Icarus slash Kunai Guru Agnes group, and also Bomb vs. Zahard, obviously. Uh, so we're going to see how those two things, um, how they progress. Let's go ahead and get into reading then. Uh, starting at the beginning, we're starting off with Mazano this time. Take it easy there, guys. You're going to have to work together now. Y Yurik Mazano, he's gotten smaller. Now, we have to go and destroy the scale that shows the past. What? Hell Train Tomorrow 3. What do you mean? We're going to destroy the scale. That's right. You guys will lure the scale here, and I'll destroy it. Weird, how do you lure it somewhere? By the way, you guys must have seen Yurik on the outside, huh? What? Wait a minute. I'm impressed that some small-time regulars like you met Yurik. Really? That guy's Yurik Mazano, whispers Yuansung. Yeah, that's him. We've met him before, says Agaragnus. I'm a bit surprised. I thought he would look like a real pervert, but he's surprisingly... You heard all the rumors? You little... <laughs> Yurik's getting pissed. He's not Yurik Mazano. He's the dad of the sworn enemy that he left behind. Okay, so just like Bomb, his sworn enemy was himself. Cool. What? But he ended up being very unstable because he wasn't copied completely. Okay, and that's what I said when everybody was asking about the uh, data or the error signs. I was like, maybe he just, um, the data's unstable because Yurik's so strong or something. Yurik Mazano, there weren't any, or there weren't really any problems here until he got here. It was an artificial system where I left the other mirror in what you guys refer to as the hidden hidden floor and was in charge of controlling this hidden floor, and I never once questioned my existence. Here in this place that never changes, my role was to send the heroes who sometimes came here on predetermined quests, as well as manage this changeless place. But everything started changing when he got here. When he first came here, he was so powerful that even I was nervous. But he wasn't very interested in this virtual world. So he said he wouldn't cause any major problems if I just let him clear the hidden stage. I let him clear the hidden stage, and he got right up to the final stage without causing any problems, but a problem occurred in the process of him saving his clear data. When he, was furi he was furious when he found out that his clear data would remain unstable. Even in a virtual space, he couldn't accept the fact that an improperly formed copy of himself would be left behind. So as soon as he saved his data, he smashed the mirror and left. The mirror at the end was smashed to pieces, and, that, and the effect of that swept across the entire hidden stage. A temporary error occurred in me and all of the other data people, and even the sworn enemy who should have disappeared when he left ended up remaining here in an unstable form. Then a massive bug room was formed which, formed which refers to the entire territory of the mirrors. And I opened the gate and started putting all of the data with errors in them in the bug room. I thought that was the only way to stop this hidden stage from collapsing, but I gradually came to realize that something about me had also changed since that error. At a certain point, I started, <clears throat> I started taking an interest in the data on the outside and created a more and more human-like doll and often stood before the data people. Then. I ended up meeting a person who would later be referred to as my mother. Although it ended tragically, after that I had no choice but to acknowledge that I had malfunctioned. It was as if I had become more human. Whatever he's saying, sounds like he's talking about Batis, says um, Yuan Tsung. Ultimately, after losing the being known as my mother, I felt disillusioned with this entire system. And, as I gazed at the mirror at the end, in the bug room, I arrived at a single thought. I'm getting out of here. So yeah, it is the plan to escape. What? You're getting out, but you're data. That's right. I'm data without a real body. But right now, you guys are also data. You guys aren't in the space known as the train. 
If it's possible for humans to turn into data, then conversely it should, or should it not be naturally possible for data to turn into humans? The scale of the past which appeared here, after the, mirror tor the mirror's territory was split in two, floating around in a third space, a that scale analyzes the people who come here, turns them into data, and created sworn enemies based on that data. That, that means that mirror must have some kind of analytical transformation ability, which turns people into data, right? I'm trying to use that mirror in the opposite way. After looking in the mirror torn off the scale, and finding some kind of code that will turn me into a human, I shall, er, I'll show that code reflected in the scale's mirror to the mirror at the end and escape to the outside. If it works, I'll become a human being and be able to leave. It sounds absurd, says Igor Agnes. I don't care what you say. I'm going to try it. Anyway, so that guy's trying to, des to destroy the scale for that reason, and I just don't like being in this form, says sworn enemy Mazano. I may be a sworn enemy, but I agree with Mazano's idea that he must remain in a perfect form. I'm going to destroy the scale and use the mirror torn off it to erase myself from this place. Yurik Mazano shouldn't look like this. Okay, so again, that might be the um, scars and veins that we had talked about too, is that it's just because he's imperfect. He's the strongest person here aside from Zahard and Edwan. You guys can just lure this can just lure the scale outside of the spug room. If you guys can just lure the scale outside of the spug room, he'll be able to destroy the scale. I see. It's a ridiculous story, but now I understand why you two ended up working together. But why are you here with them? And why are you with White? Says Agnes to Icarus. She's one of the heroes who came in here with you. What? I don't know how she managed to do it, but she went to the place where the big breeder's real body is, made a deal with him, and came back to this place. Then, one of your companions was taken hostage, so she agreed to, to cooperate with me. I think her name was Rachel, right? What? Rachel? And they're all freaking out. Then why did you help us? Just so you know, I'm also holding your companions who were completing the quest hostage. If you want to save them, accept our proposal. Helping us won't do any harm to you guys anyway. You guys need that mirror too, don't you? So babies, and then Mazano jumping off the rock and landing on the ground. Would you mind going and getting that scale for me now? It's not about your companions. I mean, before you guys get crushed. Are you threatening us? <laughs> They're all somewhat confused. <laughs> oh, that's great. So now we have this massive group with all of them together. And there's like forks and rocks flying at them. What is this place? This is Coon. As I said, it's the bug room. It's like a black hole formed in the space between mirrors. Not even Lord Zahard can monitor this place. It sure is a mysterious place. What the hell is this place? And <laughs> now they're at the hidden, hidden floor. <laughs> As you guys know, the Big Breeders' real bodies are here. Only Lord Zahard and the Big Breeders live here. Lord Zahard deleted all of the previous data instead of moving it here. The buildings are empty, and only illusions float around for show. The place where other Big Breeders and I live is an isolated space from which we can never escape. They're just disposable anyway, so I reset their memories at regular intervals and bring in new data if they malfunction. Even the big readers who think they were chosen, and the previous data, have all been deceived by Lord Zahard. So that's what this is, thinks Yuan Song. Okay, so now we have a little bit of Jock and whatever... Hyung? Or something like that? Whatever Blue's name was. I don't remember. Now, you guys are going to pass through the bug room into the third space and lure the scale. The scale will realize that something is wrong and come after you guys. Then I'll open a gate leading to that space. The scale will realize that an unfamiliar space has appeared and go nuts trying to copy that place and adjust and and adjust the balance. Then that's that space and the scale will both temporarily start being sucked into the bug room. And when that thing enters the bug room, I'll destroy the scale, says Mazano. If everything succeeds, I'll stick in this piece of the mirror at the end, which will achieve the goal of me and that sworn enemy, while simultaneously allowing us to escape 
from here with you guys. I can't go to the place where the scale is, plus I have to open the gate, so you guys have to lure the scale for us. Who wants to go? Okay, so I kind of like this because this still leaves Bomb having to deal with the heart on his own really. Around four people should be enough. I'll go. Me too. So we have Kuna and Icarus, presumably. And now we're back to uh, Zahard going towards that core. And it looks like he destroys the first one. Okay, so one point Zahard then. Well, I destroyed one first. Has that kid already given up? I don't hear a thing. And now we have the uh, Shinsu Blast coming from behind him. Zahard jumps up to dodge. And then looks back. Sees more Shinsu forming in multiple different areas all around him. Oh, this is... Hold on, we've seen this before. I... I don't remember... Ah, oh, where'd we see this? Is he able to control this... this much Shinsu at once from a place that I can't even see? Gosh, I brought this up. Because we saw somebody who could create Shinsu bongs at like a distance and stuff. And I was like, oh, if Bomb gets hit with that or sees that or whatever, he's probably going to learn it. But I don't remember who it was that he's copying with this. Was it Zahard from when they first met? It might have been. But I definitely remember seeing somebody do this and being like, oh, Bomb's totally going to copy that. Wow. Amazing. And then uh, Zahard is using his own Shinsu to block. There's a big flash. A Shinsu black hole sphere. And then all of the hard Shinsu goes in toward it. Okay. That's a really good panel of Zard. Okay. Now we have Bomb with the orb standing there. I see. So, are we really getting started now? And again, good panel of Bomb here with the orb and the thorn. And that's it. So this was not really much Bomb and Zahard, but that art at the end when we did see Bomb and Zahard was really, really good. This was more about the plan with Wang and Sworn Enemy Yurik. So I thought it was really, really good. I like chapters like this. It felt really long. That might have been mostly because there was a lot of dialogue. But either way, I thought it was really, really good. Um, and we got the reveal that Icarus was Rachel to the rest of the uh, group. So yeah. All good, and we got an explanation of what the hell's actually going on here. Uh, and I guess that means Wangnan, Yura, and uh, all the Sachi's group are being held as, um, just being held as hostage. I just thought about Batis, which is why I lost my train of thought. I wonder if he would want to make himself a medley human, or if he's going to stay behind here on the hidden floor and return to Rose and whatnot. But the hidden floor itself seems to be, like, basically irreparably damaged from that mirror being smashed and everything going all haywire. So, them destroying the scale is probably going to completely wreck the hidden floor. So at the end of this arc, depending on what happens with Bomb and Zahard, I think that the hidden floor may actually be completely destroyed. I think they may actually destroy the whole hidden floor. Um... We'll see how things go, though, because the hidden floor already is kind of destroyed. Zahard's deleted most of the important data. What's left is, like, a bunch of it is all full of errors and whatnot. So, uh, it's already kind of destroyed. But I think they just might really put an end to it if they take out the scale and get through with, uh, Huang's plan. But, either way, guess that is what it is. So, um, yeah. Uh, I guess, like, if you did like the video, comment down there, tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my thoughts on it, subscribe for more Tower of God, much more on the channel, review will be up tomorrow, uh, follow on Twitter if you want, I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel, and if you want to link to our Discord server to talk to me or more of us there, then just ask and I'll give you a link. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.